Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Excellent. My name is Kira Cook, and I serve as the vice chair of the WJCC School Board, and I'm delighted to be here this evening. I'd like to, uh, before I begin my remarks, I'd like to send greetings from our chair, Jim Kelly, who is out of town and therefore unable uh, to be here. So he um, sends his uh, gratitude to all of you for your service to our community. On behalf of the uh, rest of the school board, I would like to welcome honorees, family members, friends, and fellow WJCC employees. Tonight, we are here to celebrate WJCC staff members for their service and commitment to students and to the success of our schools. For some, we are celebrating a milestone of service, and for others, we offer our best wishes and gratitude for many years and countless hours to our new retirees who have dedicated to WJCC. Um, so I'm honored to be here to recognize these significant achievements. So here's a big number for you guys to consider. With 985 combined years of experience, let me repeat that, 985 years of combined experience in this room, I believe our retirees have earned some time off. Um, I am thrilled this evening to have an opportunity to express sincere appreciation for the contributions of these outstanding individuals. We wish you all the best in your retirement, and of course, our doors are always open if you would like to return to us as a volunteer. Oh, there's laughing. Dr. Constantino, they're laughing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, so now I'd like to turn the program over to WJCC Superintendent Stephen, Dr. Dr. Stephen Constantino. Dr. Constantino? We try that volunteer line every year. We get the same reaction. So. Thanks. It's not you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'd like to, before we begin this evening, first of all, to congratulate everyone who is here and welcome to all family and friends and, and others who are here to support both uh, our service recognition employees and also our very special retirees. Before we begin that this evening, though, I want to introduce you to the uh, Williamsburg James City County School Board, the members who are here this evening. Uh, and they are dotted around the room, so I'll call their name if they could just wave or stand so everybody knows who they are. You've met uh, Ms. Cook, the Vice Chair of the Board. Uh, Dr. Jim Beers, our parliamentarian, is here somewhere. There he is. <laughs> Julie Hemmel, representing the City of Williamsburg, is here. <laughs> representing James City County, Mary Minor. Mary, there she is. Also representing James City County, Holly Taylor. And lastly, representing James City County, Sandra Young, Ms. Young. Very much appreciate the, the support and the attendance of the school board. They get uh, lots of invitations and lots of places to go. And as you know, many of them have day jobs and other things to do, but all of them uh, uh, immediately said we, we will be there to celebrate the success and, and make sure that we recognize the outstanding accomplishments. So thank you to them for uh, being with us this evening. We're going to begin this evening by recognizing our service pin recipients. These dedicated individuals have anywhere from 20 to 40 years of service in Williamsburg James City County Public Schools. We truly appreciate your unwavering commitment to our school division. As I call your name, Please join me at the podium so Ms. Cook can present you with your service pin. We will take a group photo of all service pin and retirement honorees at the end of the ceremony. Uh, so we hope that you'll, you'll stay for that, that big photo. And I will also say that we know that there are several of our service pin uh, awardees who could not be with us this evening, but we're gonna announce their name anyway. We wanna make sure that we recognize everybody who has dedicated so much time so much energy and so much talent to our school system. So we begin with those uh, celebrating 20 years of service. We'll start with Norman Brungett. Norman? Robin Burford. Come on up, Robin. I 
I did forget to give you camera instructions. I, I'm getting, I'm getting the, the look. Uh, we are going to ask you to come to Mrs. She's not being stubborn. She's standing there so we can make sure that we have everything on video and, and record uh, the ceremony. Elizabeth Crumpler. Elizabeth? Willie Floyd. Willie. Nina Gruber. Dale Hewlett. Kimberly Hundley. Patricia Jones, Deborah Kendall, April Knowles, Cleveland McLean, Deborah Oti, Patricia Rear. Well, there's apparently a heck of a 20-year party going on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't invited. Sharon Richardson. Christine Smith. Virginia Sapinski. James Turner, Howard Wallace, James Wells, Cynthia White, and Amy Yago. A round of applause for all of our 20 year celebrants. <laughs> We'll move on to those celebrating 25 years of service. Melissa Butler. Roger Charity. Deborah Daly. It's my summer library, buddy. Wanda Hawkins. You're welcome. Nanetta Hawks. Hope Jackson. Elizabeth Johnston, Andrew Lynn, Susan Mullen, so 
Susan Osgood. Virginia Price. Elizabeth Randolph. Carrie Saunders. Susan Thomas. Patty Trubenbach, Monica Underwood, Melissa Wooten, Wooten, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, our 25 year recipients. <laughs> Onward and upward. 30 years of service. Robert Francis. Lisa Hill, Warren Jefferson, Donna Madison. It's my 31st year. It's 31 years. We don't have a 31 year pen. I'll dig up a one year and send it to you. How's that? 31 years. Karen Mason. Lynn Miller. Thirty-one. All right. I'll make a note. Thirty-one year. Thirty-one years. Thank you. Um, I'm going to present the budget next week, so I'll just augment the line and order 31-year pins. <laughs> Somebody remind me to make that motion. Barbara Rutley. Clarence Willis. Those are our 30-year recipients, ladies and gentlemen. On to 35 years of service. Richard Adal. James Hall. Susan Miller. Alan Overton. Ladies and gentlemen, our 35 year recipient. Oh, but we're not done yet. <laughs> Celebrating 40 years of service, something that I can't really imagine. Um, but Jerry Lewis, is Jerry here? 
Well, a round of applause to Jerry Lewis. The, the service of all of you is so greatly appreciated. And if you count up all the years and, every, and everything that you do and all of the knowledge you bring, the passion you bring, the creativity you bring, uh, I'm not so sure that we can quantify it. And so will everybody join me in please thanking and uh, cheering on all of our service recognition faculty and staff. We're going to continue on with our retirees. Uh, this evening I have the privilege of sharing a little bit about e each of the retirees' contributions to our school system. We ask, uh, in some cases, uh, we ask the retirees to uh, give us some information, anything they'd like us to share. Some people do, some people don't. And for those that don't, we just make stuff up. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it keeps the program light and uh, keeps everybody on their toes. Um, we're going to share a little bit about each person, their plans for retirement. It's almost impossible to condense the accomplishments and plans of retirees into a paragraph. but. We're going to give it a try this evening. Retirees, please join me as the podium as your name is called. Ms. Cook will then present you with a small token of our appreciation for your service. Patricia Patty Andre. <laughs> Patty spent the last 17 years at Tuano Middle School. During her 27 years in education, she has taught English, life science, and served as a media specialist. Patty is counting the days until retirement when she, can, <laughs> when she can spend her time with the family at the pool or beach and sample wine at Virginia wineries. <laughs> Patricia Patty Andre, congratulations. <laughs> Patricia Patty Boyd. Forty-three years ago, Patty entered into the teaching profession to make a difference in children's lives. During that time, she has served as team and curriculum leads, reading and math coordinator, and sat on numerous committees to help positively impact student learning. When asked about her retirement plans, the first on Patty's list was getting some sleep. <laughs> well deserved. Thank you, Patty. Ann Bradshaw. As a second grade teacher at Rawls Bird Elementary School, Anne is quite familiar with establishing a morning routine. After 16 years in WJCC, Anne is passing the torch and looking forward to a more leisurely schedule. <laughs> Congratulations, Anne. Thank you. <laughs> Georgia Theodora Brooks. Currently a school counselor at James River Elementary School, Theodora has spent 19 of her 38 years in education here in Williamsburg, James City County. Having served as a classroom teacher, child development specialist, and counselor, Theodora is looking forward to resuming her love of antiquing, decorating, and collecting photographs during her retirement. Her ultimate goal is to sit back and enjoy life. Theodora Brooks. Lawrence Brooks. I have to say publicly what I said to you privately. I love the shirt. Had I known, I would have wore mine. After 27 years beautifying the grounds of WJCC schools, Lawrence is looking forward to more time with his grandchild and getting some much needed rest during retirement. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence Brooks. Thank you, Lawrence. Nancy Bird. Nancy worked in the operations department for 15 years. She retired in January, and the first thing she did was to take a trip to our nation's capital. Nancy is overjoyed that retirement has afforded her more opportunities to relax and travel. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy Bird. <laughs> Everett Collins, Jr. <laughs> a 
After a 40-year career directing band, Everett is looking forward to devoting his time to writing, composing, and producing music for his own publishing company. Over the past 24 years in WJCC, Everett traveled to three schools each day. He's eager to trade eating and planning in his car <laughs> with throwing out the alarm and leisurely watching everyone else go to work. <laughs> Thank you, Everett. Everett Collins, Jr. Shirley Connor. Shirley has spent the last 15 of her 31 years teaching at WJCC. Having taught math and reading at the middle school level, Shirley now plans to enroll in art classes, spend time with her grandchildren, and volunteer. Don't worry, Shirley. I think we can help with the volunteer hours. <laughs> Did you give her the form? We got one. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> we never get one, so we. Lois Corrigan. During her career in WJCC, Lois has spent her days carrying around our most precious cargo, our students. After driving a bus for 21 years, Lois is mo most excited to sit in the passenger seat. <laughs> I read that this afternoon, it made me laugh too. <laughs> I didn't finish it because I started laughing, wait a minute. Lois is most excited to sit in the passenger seat and enjoy the ride. Congratulations, <laughs> Lois. Donna Crinklaw. Donna's career in education consisted of being a kindergarten teacher, speech and language pathologist, and an instructional technology resource teacher. Since retiring in October, Donna and her husband have been on a roll with their fifth wheel RV, most recently spending time at Glacier, Yellowstone, and Grand Teton National Parks. When home, look for Donna at Bike Beat, apprenticing to become a bike mechanic. <laughs> Donna Crinkle. I'll be there. Patricia Pat Kerr. For the last 25 years, you could find Pat in the Media Center at Berkeley Middle School. With experience in both K-12 and higher education, Pat's career in education has been spent providing resources for student success. In retirement, Pat will now have time to remodel the house and volunteer when she's not spending time at the beach. Pat Curd. <laughs> Arthur Art Dion. <laughs> when Art transitioned to education 13 years ago, he was thrilled that he could apply his technical skills to support the schools. During his career, Art implemented <laughs> you causing trouble already. <laughs> Art implemented and managed a number of systems in WJCC that remain vital to our efficiency today. And what's not in the script is that Art is very patient with the superintendent, who on a daily basis does not how to know how to use his phone. And, Art likes clamps. And he always don't don't go yet, Art. I'm not done. Uh, uh. Um, and all the times that I would call him and say, Art. He came up with a smile on his face and never said, look here, stupid, all you got to do is press this button. Uh, and for that, I appreciate it. Art's retirement plans, however, are quite simple. He'll do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. <laughs> Art Dion. I don't know what was behind the smile. <laughs> no. Yes, I know what was behind the smile, Art. Christine Doobie. Christine. During the past 23 years of her career in education, Christine has served as a business, computer, and gifted education teacher. During the last seven years, she was the librarian at James River Elementary School. This time next year, you might find Christine sailing, rug hooking with friends, or enjoying her role as a grandmother. 
Christine Dewey. Congratulations. Sarah Lynn Gaunt. After a 25-year career as a banker, Lynn had spent the past 13 years teaching history, civics, and economics to middle school students. Sarah is excited that she'll soon have more time to spend with her family and also to get in a little gardening. Her motto for retirement is modest. Enjoy life. Sarah Lynn Gaunt. Thank you. <laughs> Nina Gruber. <laughs> 21 of Nina's 43-year career in education has been in WJCC. During this time, she has taught at both the elementary and middle school levels. Like many of the retirees tonight, Nina is thrilled that she'll have more time for family, playing bridge, and reading new books with her book club. Congratulations, Nina Gruber. Christopher Chris Haley. Chris spent the last 22 years teaching social studies at Lafayette High School. Over the course of his 31 years in education, he served as a teacher and curriculum leader. Though no longer in WJCC, Chris is still teaching AP government, economics, and international relations in the private sector. Congratulations, Chris. <laughs> Carolyn Hill. Carolyn Hill is a woman of great patience. For the past 37 years, she has spent her days driving a school bus. Let me say that again. For the past 37 years, she has spent her days driving a school bus. When asked about her retirement plans, Carolyn shared that her priority is to relax. When not relaxing, Carolyn intends to do volunteer work and travel, but not on a bus. <laughs> Carolyn Hill. <laughs> Carol Kendall. It's the Norwich party table, I think. <laughs> For the past 16 years, you could find Carol in her fifth grade classroom at Norwich Elementary School. In June, she will say goodbye to her 25-year career in education to spend more time on her job as church organist and choir director. Carol also plans to spoil her grandchildren and work on becoming a better cook. Congratulations, <laughs> Carol Kendall. <laughs> Donna Madison. Donna began her career in WJCC 31 years ago. <laughs> Over the years, she has, she has taught kindergarten, first and second grades in three division elementary schools. Though leaving the classroom is bittersweet, Donna hopes to start a new career working at one of the wineries. <laughs> now Donna's got it right. Congratulations, Donna. Thank you. Maureen McKenna. We did, we did not see Maureen come in, and I wanted to make sure that I announced her name, but apparently she is not with us here this evening. But I'm going to read uh, what has been written about Maureen anyway. Eleven of Maureen's 20 years in education have been in WJCC. As an elementary classroom teacher, reading recovery teacher, and reading support specialist, Maureen enjoyed fulfilling, a fulfilling career as an educator. Playing golf, gardening, traveling, and volunteering are activities in the near future for Maureen. Maureen McKenna. Mary Beth Merrill.
Mary Beth has served as a teacher assistant, special education aide, parts room specialist, and a bus driver during her 19 years in WJCC. Looking forward, Mary Beth plans to enjoy gardening, travel, and much appreciated time with family. Congratulations, Mary Beth. Mary. <laughs> Linda Miller. <laughs> Linda has worked as a teacher's aide in our special education department for the past 27 years. During that time, she has worked at just under half the schools in our division. As her career in education comes to a close, Linda is thrilled that her grandchildren will get to see her more often. Linda Miller, congratulations. <laughs> Susan Miller. <laughs> After 46 years impacting students' lives, Susan has decided to retire. During her 35 years in WJCC, she served as an English teacher, avid coordinator, peer coach for staff development, and cheer dance coach, just to name a few. Susan plans to write freelance articles for the newspaper and use her talent as a certified landscape designer. Congratulations, <laughs> Susan Miller. <laughs> Susan wants you to know she's gonna cut you a real good landscape deal, so give her a call. Larry Moore. Just over 18 years ago, Larry joined WJCC as one of our custodians. In that time, he has worked at Lafayette and Jamestown High Schools. Larry's number one priority in retirement is to travel, so the next time you see him, be sure to ask where he's been. Congratulations, Larry. Karen Nestor. Twenty years ago, Karen started her teaching career in WJCC at Tuano Middle School. She's been an integral member of our family as a science teacher and curriculum lead, but Karen now looks forward to cycling and touring great American cities. When she's not on the road, she'll stop by one of our schools to volunteer. Congratulations, Karen. Thank you. Betty Pace. getting a little wild over there. I just <laughs> Betty is currently a third grade teacher at Norwich Elementary School. With 23 years in education, Betty has decided that her time will now be spent working in her church and enjoying time with family and friends. Congratulations, Betty Page. <laughs> Kathy Petway. Though Kathy is leaving WJCC, she plans to continue her contributions to the occupational therapy profession as a consultant. She's worked in our school division for just over eight years, but is happy that she can devote more time to sewing projects, family, and travel. Congratulations, Kathy Pepper. <laughs> Lewis Paulson. Lewis? Known as Mr. P to his students, Lewis is retiring after 39 years in education, with the last eight years right here in WJCC. Lewis's career spans from custodian to mechanic to building engineer. He's relocating to Charlotte, North Carolina, and plans to live life to the fullest. Congratulations, Lewis. Thank you. William Reed. William has spent the last 24 years in WJCC working in the Information Technology Department. Though he retired in April, William continues to share his talents with students when he officiates track and field competitions at the high school and college level. Looking forward, William plans to travel overseas and fish when time allows. Congratulations, William Reed.
Gloria Roberts. Though Gloria began her career in Akron, Ohio, she has spent the last 28 of her 30 years in education at Lafayette High School. In that time, she has served as a cooperative business education teacher, behavioral specialist, and facilitator of legal and medical programs. Spending time with her mother and traveling extensively are priority, priorities in Gloria's retirement. Congratulations, Gloria Roberts. <laughs> Vivian Rose. After 29 years in education, Vivian has decided it's time for a well-deserved rest. Over her career, Vivian has taught preschool, kindergarten, and second grade, and also served as a grade level team leader. Though her time in education has come to an end, she is currently working on her third degree in marriage and family counseling. Congratulations, Vivian Rose. Thank you. Judith Judy Saltzman. Judy? Nineteen years ago, Judy started teaching at Lafayette High School where there were 20 plus trailers in the parking lot. Just had to bring that up. During, <laughs> during her 25 year career in education, Judy has taken on tasks such as piloting literacy programs, sponsoring Lafayette's literacy art magazine, and serving as curriculum leaders. Fast forward, <laughs> this is another one that made me laugh. <laughs> Fast, did you write this, Judy? You did, yeah. Uh, Fast forward, Judy's plans are to write a book, No Tears, No Boogers. <laughs> Congratulations, Judy Sauce. <laughs> I wish I had thought of that title. <laughs> it's a good one. Lorraine Stevens. After 27 years as a math teacher, Lorraine has decided it was time to put some checks on her bucket list. For the past 19 years, you could find Lorraine at Lafayette or Warhill High Schools. Though Lorraine retired last July, she is still active on the WJCC sublist. Thank you, Lorraine. Despite staying busy, Lorraine is pleased to have more time to spend with her grandchildren. Congratulations to Lorraine Stevens. Lisa Stone. After 30 years as a music teacher, Lisa decided to take time for herself. During her career, Lisa served as choir director at five WJCC schools. Since retiring last July, Lisa serves as an active adjudicator for the choral festivals, sings with the Williamsburg Women's Chorus, and teaches privately. So congratulations, Lisa Stone. Nancy Tatum. Nancy? After 30 years in education, Nancy has decided to take some time for herself. She came to WJCC 22 years ago and has served as a classroom teacher, computer science resource teacher, and an instructional technology teacher. In retirement, Nancy is looking forward to expanding her grandmother duties, but most importantly, staying up late and then sleeping late. <laughs> Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy Taylor. Madeline Mindy Thompson. Mindy. Mindy recently purchased a home in the Outer Banks four doors down from her daughter. Can you tell where this is going? So she is trading in her educator's hat for her grandmother's hat. With 34 years in education, Mindy has worked as a preschool director, teacher, and assistant principal. She now looks forward to leisurely walks on the beach and doing all of those activities she has put off while working. Congratulations, Mindy Thompson. <laughs> Kathleen 
Kit Kat Warman. Since last October, Kit has had time to work on her art and take long naps whenever she likes. She retired after 12 years in WJCC where she worked as a bus driver and teaching assistant. Once Kit is caught up on her rest, she also plans to travel and volunteer. Kathleen Kit Warman, congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause for all of our retirees. As joyous as, a, as this evening is, one of the most difficult things to do is to think of something to say at the end of recognizing 985 years of service. I don't know that I can find um, appropriate words to capture the heartfelt thanks and appreciation of thousands of kids and families, uh, teachers, administrators, certainly central office, school board, and every life that you've touched. Uh, we will have people to fill your place, but we can't replace you. We can't replace your smile. We can't replace your heart. We can't replace what you know and what you do. We, we may not be able to replace the love and the joy and the humor that you bring to Williamsburg, James City County. But I want you to know that we appreciate it, and we thank you, and we wish you nothing but the best and enjoy every moment of rubbing your retirement in our face. <laughs> I would uh, ask before we leave this evening, um, as I said earlier, we'd like to get a group photo each year. We do a video and a photo and we make sure that we keep an archive. Uh, and again, just to thank all of our service pins, uh, recognition teachers who were here, those that couldn't be here this evening, the school system, uh, is successful because of you. Uh, I stand on the shoulders of giants. Uh, it's not because of me. It's because of your efforts, your work, your dedication, uh, and your belief that all of our children deserve an outstanding education. So from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the, board of the school board, please accept, uh, my again, my sincere thanks. That's the end of our ceremony this evening. I know you can... You can uh, stay and take pictures. We want the group to come forward for a picture. Anybody who wants to get a picture can, can come forward and uh, we'll make sure that we all stand and uh, they, all, they all stand and smile long enough to, make, to let everybody get their pictures. But I want to thank um, our communications department, our human resources department, and all the people who work very hard to put this evening together. Can we give them a round of applause as well? And I would also like to thank uh, Dean Skip Niles, the Dean of the School of Education, for allowing us to invade the School of Education and take over for an evening. It's a beautiful setting uh, to be able to be uh, in this room and in this setting to celebrate the success of wonderful people is, is truly uh, a blessing for all of us. So thank you for coming, everyone. Don't forget the group picture, and we're glad you're here. And once again, congratulations to all. Thank you. Thank you.